right, guys. So I finished reading this last night. And I actually have a full review um, of this book on my blog, which is bookcoffeehappy.com. But I don't like to include spoilers on my blog because a lot of people um, read my blog to get ideas of books they should read and they don't necessarily want to know any spoilers. So I try really, really hard to keep spoilers off of there. However, because I just finished this book and because I have so much to say, I wanted to do kind of an extra video which will definitely contain spoilers. So this is your warning. If you haven't read this book yet, I'm going to be talking about um, a lot of stuff on here that you might not want to watch. But if you have read this book and you'd like to hear my thoughts, then this might be a great video for you to watch. And again, you can check out my full review at bookcoffeehappy.com. So, um, okay, so I'll just dive right into the spoilers. I figured out the big twist like in the very beginning of the book. And I don't usually figure things like that out and I never try to. Um, so I was a little disappointed because I the whole book was like, oh, he totally did it. And then that's totally what happened. And I was like, oh, his mother isn't that bad. She's just protecting him. And then that's actually what ended up happening. So that was a little bit disappointing to me only because I really wanted to be wrong and I wanted it to be more than that. Um, so I'm not, I'm not, mm, that's the only thing I didn't really love. I also didn't really love that I just um, pretty much hated every single character in this book, including Emily, because I felt that she was weak and I felt that she, like, I didn't see what about Adam was keeping her there. I never saw it. The whole book I was like, he's kind of an ass. So I don't, I don't really know why she put up with everything that she did and I honestly think a lot of it was just to spite her mother-in-law as opposed to her really being in love with him so I, what I what I wanted was just for him to be like a a better person I guess that would show more of their relationship because I felt like he was really kind of horrible to her a lot of this book and I um I didn't like that and I felt that she like at some point, when do you just walk away and you just say like enough, enough with this man, enough with his family. Like when, when do you just walk away with what his mother was doing to her? I just wanted her to leave and I, and I felt like she should have left a long time, like in, towards the beginning of the book. So I didn't love that. The only characters in this whole entire book that I actually really liked were her friends. Um, Seb and Pippa I thought were just adorable characters and I felt like they were the only truly likable characters in the whole book. Um, I also didn't like, as far as her writing style, I didn't like how she would flip to different scenarios and different settings sentence after sentence like there was no break there was no paragraph break there was no chapter break it was just like in this sentence she's sitting in her kitchen and now she's on her bachelorette party and now she is back in her living room and it just was kind of I thought it was kind of weird transitions at times um and I also didn't love just there were like some nitpicky things um they drank a lot of tea in this book and maybe that's, maybe that's more of the custom. I get that that's a custom that they have, but they drank a lot of tea. And anytime there was an issue, they were like, let's just make tea and discuss it. Let, you know what, have a tea and we'll, we'll talk about it. You know what we should do? We should have a tea and figure it out. And after a while I was like, they are drinking tea way too much, way too much. I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee. All, all they do there is drink the tea in this book. And so I I kind of wish there was a little bit less of, of that. Um, I also wish there was a little bit less. She was very, um, I playfully hit him on the arm. I playfully slapped him on the back. I playfully kicked him in the shin. She like, she has to stop touching everybody in such a playful way. Because the whole book, if you if you now now you'll notice if you read it, um, she's constantly like, jokingly I pushed him, jokingly I sweated him. Like I, I just kind of want her to keep her hands to herself, and maybe that's the mom in me. Like stop touching him all the time, and just keep your hands to yourself. But overall, I I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I couldn't put it down. I started reading it last. 
Friday and I finished it last night. Last night was Tuesday. So um, it was a quick read, a great read. It kept me interested the entire time. I couldn't wait to see how it ended. And overall, I would totally recommend it because the issues that I had with it wouldn't be enough to make me tell you not to read it. So I definitely, if you're looking for just a quick, easy, great read, I would definitely read this book. Um, it would be a great beach read if you're going on vacation, if you are just looking for something to, you know, pass the time while you're laying on a beach, this would be like a perfect beach read. So highly recommend it. I would say that I would probably give it maybe four stars out of five, just because, um, mainly because I just didn't like the characters. That's pretty much why I would give it. And, and the big shocking twist that wasn't so shocking. So, um, a couple of the other little twists along the way I didn't really see coming, but the big one, a little bit too predictable for me. Um, but overall, great book, and I would highly recommend it. So again, check out my blog at bookcoffeehappy.com to see more of my reviews. And um, this is now my second vlog. I did a review of Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, um, as my previous video, so you can check that out as well. And um, I had such a good response from that. People were like messaging me, just telling me like the nicest things that they enjoyed watching it. So I thought I would pop on and do another quick one today. So hopefully I'll do some more um, in the future and hopefully I will stop saying the word um so much because this is still so new to me. I'm learning. Have a good day. Bye.